Let's talk about something that's always excellent to have in spades. Not money, no, 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 but money is definitely on that list of things you want to have as much of as you can, but let me tell you something that helps even obtain that money to begin with when you don't have a pot to put your money in. It's confidence. Confidence is the key, my friends. Every day you want to get up and believe in yourself. It's you that's going to get this done and only you off the sweat of your brow. I'm counting on you to get it done. Consumer confidence is a big thing too, especially in the stock market. How's it going today? It's Halloween. I'm all dressed up. You can see that. I'm Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. I'm actually Cody from Wall Street Breakdown, and in October, consumer confidence levels rose. To what? To what did they rise? Like 125? Like 125 and some? It's not too bad. It's not too bad when you think about considering that this consumer confidence level beat the consensus of 121. Beat September's consumer confidence, which was, I think, like 120.6. They were expecting things to go up. They were expecting this. They were expecting people to believe that the sentiment was high. The economy is good. The market is strong. Things are working to your advantage. Let me tell you, a lot of that stems from having confidence. You better have confidence in yourself. You better have confidence in whatever you're doing. And when confidence reaches this kind of level on an economic scale, it's actually pretty astounding. Now, you might not think that this means anything, but this means that while they take a myriad of statistics and they take a large pool of people and their behavior patterns and they mash them all together with some sort of a quantum type of uh, mathematical formula and they put it all together and they give you this what seems like an arbitrary number but they do follow trends so significantly hence the reason that quantitative analysis is so well used in the stock market though i still personally like the human aspect of things but quantitative analysis works really well but this is a perfect way to gauge sentiment over time over time, why? Why do we care? So sentiment's up, Cody. Big deal. What are you saying? You're saying I should be confident, walk around, put my chest up? Yeah, you should be. But when the market's this confident, that's good for your money. That means your money's probably in a place that's going to grow because the majority of people feel the same way that you do. They're looking for prosperity and they believe they found it because the confidence level is so high. How high? The number for October is the highest number in 17 years. Now you can't fake that statistic. Like sure it could be an anomaly, but we know the kind of economy we're in. Things are doing fantastic. That's why everybody's so happy. That's why I'm happy, isn't it? Some reason, somebody's happy for some reason, and it's because the confidence is up all over. The way people feel about their money is good right now. Everything's working to people's advantages. And we want that to happen. But when you take an arbitrary number, which I think it kind of is, especially if you look at it in a, in a vacuum, it's definitely not over time when you consider it against similar numbers, the same number gauged on the exact same, uh, same basis points or the exact same, uh, same principles, whatever you want to call it. It's not an arbitrary number because it's a trend. The trend was supposed to be 121. The trend's 125 and some. 17 year high for confidence. Man, it's good to feel good. I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Go ahead and leave a like for this video. Might as well stay confident about it and leave a comment. Tell me how confident you are. Tell me what the marketplace has been doing for you that's got you so fired up that you're a part of that confidence statistic. We love hearing from you.